my name is Eric Kimondo and I especially welcome you to the Uchao Don Break Show. Wewe ushai hubiri kwa matatu. Ushai hubiri kwa hospital. <laughs> we are going to be hearing from someone who has done it. Matthew 28 verse 19, the Bible says that you go in and make disciples of all nations and baptizing them in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. We all have this mandate of reaching out. Indeed, it's not just for a few people in various methods and ways. I don't know if you've ever looked at a people and like Jesus, you felt that these people have been harassed and if they could just receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who you Lakini, after even you feel that, Unasikia kuna kitu unakosa ndani yako. You are lacking boldness. You are lacking the courage of speaking out. Today we are going to be talking about how do you overcome that by learning from the personal story of John Mwishohio. Yes. Karibu sana John. Thank you so much Mr. Eric. How don't break show. Asante sana. Asante sana. Yeah. Wow, wow. Uh, so my name is as you have said. Uh, John Mwisho Yomwagi mm -hmm. and uh, I am a born again Christian. Mm -hmm. I take this opportunity to thank God for mm -hmm. giving me and allowing me mm -hmm. to come and share my experience mm -hmm. of uh, evangelizing mm -hmm. uh, and preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm a married man mm -hmm. uh, of one wife mm -hmm. by the name Caroline Jock Mwisho mm -hmm. The woman that I love so much because mm -hmm. of the way she has supported me so, in this uh, ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two children mm -hmm. by the name Precious mm -hmm. or Jiko. Mm -hmm. And if I don't mention doctor, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I'm in for a big, big <laughs> fight. So Dr. Precious Wajiko, wow. we show you. Uh, and uh, King Joseph, wow. Mwagi, we show you. Wow. So uh, I am so much uh, happy to be in this place today. Mm -hmm to tell the people, to tell the world mm -hmm. where, uh, how it is very important mm -hmm. to preach and spread the gospel mm -hmm. to those people who have not yet known mm -hmm. Jesus Christ as their personal savior. Wow. So I was born in Nadarwa, mm -hmm. Nadarwa County, mm -hmm. in a family of three children. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I have one brother and one sister. Mm -hmm. And uh, I then went to Gaduthi Primary School. Mm -hmm. Later on, I enrolled for my O level in mm -hmm. Geta Secondary School. Mm -hmm. And uh, after my O level, mm -hmm. that's when I came to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. After I came to Nairobi, which the, year was that? That's, uh, that's in the year, I, it was in the year 2006. Mm -hmm. That's why, when, when uh, 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 I came in Nairobi. Wow. Mm -hmm. So after. Coming to Nairobi, mm -hmm. I struggled here and there, mm -hmm. looking for a job, looking mm -hmm. for uh, where I can mm -hmm. sustain my life. Mm -hmm. uh, let alone, that's when I joined G4S mm -hmm. company. It's a security company. Mm -hmm. It's a worldwide mm -hmm. security company. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked with them mm -hmm. for 11 years. Mm -hmm. While I was in G4S, mm -hmm. I, I, I was taught about security mm -hmm. and all that and it was about security. Mm -hmm. So after I completed the, 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 the work in security company, mm -hmm. I left G4S mm -hmm. to come and do the work of God. Mm -hmm. So I came in a uh, word of faith mm -hmm. and I joined the, the team, the mm -hmm. outreach team. Mm -hmm. So we started preaching the gospel mm -hmm. uh, from one county to another. Mm -hmm. uh, and they embraced me so much. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. I got the courage of preaching. Mm -hmm. And I remember one day mm -hmm. uh, our leader uh, spotted me mm -hmm. and asked me, mm -hmm. are you able to speak to, to people? Mm -hmm. Then I told him, without knowing that he was telling me now, I am a, <laughs> he will give me a, 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 a time to preach in a crusade. Uh, so I told him, uh, yeah, me, I don't have any problem uh, to speak to people. <laughs> I was thinking that he wanted me to 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 speak to, to a small uh, co congregation of uh -huh, people. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. I did not know that he was uh, about to tell me mm -hmm. that I, 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 I am supposed to speak to, uh, to, the, to a crusade. Mm -hmm. So after that, he told me now, prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. That was uh, on that day, mm -hmm. you are the one now who is going to preach in the crusade. Mm -hmm. Then now that's the time now, I started shivering. Mm -hmm. I was about to tell him now, mm -hmm. uh, no, not me, not me. I am not able to do that. Mm -hmm. 
but he told me uh, 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 by the holy spirit by mm -hmm. the power of the holy spirit mm -hmm. he, the holy spirit convinced me and told me that's why i called you mm -hmm. that's why you came and joined them mm -hmm. do not dare tell him that mm -hmm. so i started now preparing myself mm -hmm. i remember one of uh, the the outreach team mm -hmm. member mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. preparing myself. Uh -huh. I, I was reading the word now, preparing myself the way I will preach the people. Uh -huh. But he told me, uh, 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 no, no, just uh -huh. the matter, the, 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 the vehicle that we had gone with it. Mm -hmm. So there, there's no any other person. Mm -hmm. So I uh, am mm -hmm. so trying to, to practice mm -hmm. how I'm going to preach in the crusade. Mm -hmm. But uh, when that man came, he told me, John, what are you doing? I'm preparing myself. Mm -hmm. Uh, because on that day, I am the one who is going to mm -hmm. share the message mm -hmm. in a crusade. And I have never done it before. So I'm practicing what I will do. Mm -hmm. Then he told me, no, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. You just go read the word. Mm -hmm. Pray that the Holy Spirit will help you mm -hmm. and give you more revelation. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able mm -hmm. to, 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 to spread the gospel. You'll be mm -hmm. able now to, to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. I read the word. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was in the book of Jonah, mm -hmm. Jonah chapter 4. I read the word. Mm -hmm. Then after reading the word, I prayed mm -hmm. about that word. Mm -hmm. I prayed that the Holy Spirit will help me mm -hmm. to give me more revelation mm -hmm. so that I can be able to, 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 to preach the, the, uh, the, the gospel. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it came. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the that thing. Mm -hmm. So, I was shivering, shivering, mm -hmm. shivering now. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, mm -hmm. when we went now out mm -hmm. for, the cruc uh, for the crusade, mm -hmm. Now the the person who was reading the, reading that service by that time, mm -hmm. now he was welcome, welcoming me. Mm -hmm. Now I was asking myself, what am I going to speak? Mm -hmm. How am I going to start? Mm -hmm. How am I? How, how will these people listen to me? Mm -hmm. Those were the questions that I was asking myself. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, mm -hmm. there is power in the gospel. Mm -hmm. There is power in the the Holy Spirit of mm -hmm. God. So the Holy Spirit of God carried me through mm -hmm. because when I was going there to the dais, mm -hmm. I was expecting myself to preach for only five, five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Then I call it off. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, mm -hmm. I preached and I preached and uh, I remember people mm -hmm. show, showing me <laughs> in, 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 in the rest of the watch that <laughs> you are time, the time, the time, 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 time is up. Uh, so I preach, I we preach, then we uh, after we completed preaching. Mm -hmm. That's when now we called for the outer mm -hmm. call. And there came uh, two, ma two old men mm -hmm. and one old woman. Mm -hmm. And they surrendered their life to Jesus wow. Christ. And uh, up to now, mm -hmm. that one man who came mm -hmm. is the, the leader of the church uh, in Rudian. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's, mm -hmm. that, that's how now I started gaining courage, mm -hmm. uh, preaching uh, in the crusade, mm -hmm. preaching in Matatus, mm -hmm. after I had gone mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I came and realized myself that I, 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 this is how I am. Mm -hmm. I did not know myself. It's mm -hmm. until when mm -hmm. I went out for evangelism. Wow. Yes. Tell us about your experience preaching in a matatu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a matatu, mm -hmm. now I was one day uh, going to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And as I was going to Nairobi, mm -hmm. I had a, a voice. Mm -hmm. And the voice was telling me, you have been saying, mm -hmm. you have been saying that you will be preaching in a matatu. Mm -hmm. Now, it is either today mm -hmm. or never. It was very tough. <laughs> Let me tell you, Mr. Eric. Uh, it was very tough. Mm -hmm. Now, I asked God, oh my God, how am I going to do it? I have not prayed about the word. Mm -hmm. I don't know which the word I'm going to speak. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Then God told me, it is either now mm -hmm. or never. Mm -hmm. Stand! Mm -hmm. And now start preaching to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to the people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it happens that I stood mm -hmm. without no, no uh, and when I stood, I did not immediately went to preach. So mm -hmm. I went to the conductor mm -hmm. to ask for permission. Mm -hmm. So I was expecting the conductor to tell me, uh, "Ah, no, we, no, you are not supposed <laughs> to preach in in, a, in this matter." Uh, uh. So after <laughs> I had gone to the conductor, <laughs> the conductor told me, "Ah, we don't have any problem. Just spread the gospel." <laughs> So I was looking for an excuse <laughs> to tell God now it is not about <laughs> me. It's, a, it's just the conductor who, are, who have refused me, uh, who are not given me the permission to preach in the, uh, in the matatu. Uh, so the conductor told me, no, we don't have any problem. Uh, Stand and spread the gospel. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Now I had not prepared. I said, oh my God, 
what have you done to me now? Uh, How am I going to speak to people? But God told me, uh, you have had a lot. You have a lot of deposit. Uh, Stand uh, uh, and give, it, give, give out the, the, uh, the message. Uh, uh, so I remember preaching about the name of Jesus uh, in the Matatu. Uh, uh, and that time, uh, uh, I preached and preached and preached until uh, I was about to, 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 to pass where I was, I was about to, to alight. Uh, uh, so I preached, I got the outer call. That day, people did not surrender their life to Nobody surrendered his uh -huh. life or her life to Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. But uh, later on, the following day, mm -hmm. when I stood and then I preached the gospel, mm -hmm. that's when now people started surrendering their life to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, the, uh, the second time mm -hmm. when I went uh, in the Matatu to preach, mm -hmm. two, two ladies mm -hmm. and one man mm -hmm. surrendered their life to Jesus Christ. So mm -hmm. we are here. Mm -hmm. God is there. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God is there. Mm -hmm. and in fact, the Spirit of God is the one that gives you the courage. Mm -hmm. Because the Word of God says mm -hmm. that He has given us the mm -hmm. Spirit of boldness mm -hmm. and not the Spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. So fear is not godly. <laughs> so when you fear, it's like you, 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 you have, then add by, by the uh, way, you are fearing uh, nothing. Because uh, the, the, the mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. has given you the space mm -hmm. that you, you, you can now, mm -hmm. you can now preach, you mm -hmm. can now spread the gospel, wow. but sometimes we fear. Yeah. So you are going to be helping us on mm -hmm. how to overcome, because that is one of the greatest problems mm -hmm. with, uh, with so many people. Mm -hmm. But you, you also have an experience preaching in a hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you also tell us about that? Uh, in the hospital, this is how it is. I started preaching in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I was one day sick. Mm -hmm. And I was reading a hospital bed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when I was in the hospital bed, mm -hmm. God told me that you are not sick. Mm -hmm. through the, through, through, there was a pastor who came that mm -hmm. in that world, there, mm -hmm. is a, there was a television there. Mm -hmm. So that pastor was telling, say, saying, mm -hmm. what are you doing there in mm -hmm. the hospital bed? Mm -hmm. Tell God about mm -hmm. what you have been doing, mm -hmm. like Hezekiah, mm -hmm. and he will deliver you. He will mm -hmm. take you out of that pit mm -hmm. and you will go home. Mm -hmm. So through that message, mm -hmm. God gave me that message. You are not sick. Mm -hmm. It's that I, I wanted you to come and experience and have the experience mm -hmm. of how the, the, the people who are in the hospital feel. Mm -hmm. So you are not sick. Just go home. Mm -hmm. And now, mm -hmm. from now henceforth, mm -hmm. start continue spreading the gospel in the hospital. So I went and uh, I was having a bad headache, mm -hmm. stomach ache. Mm -hmm. I could not eat. Mm -hmm. Everything that I, 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 I eat, I used to vomit. Mm -hmm. But now, that now God comes and tells me, you are not sick. Mm -hmm. So the nurse came mm -hmm. and uh, about 10 minutes mm -hmm. uh, af before, mm -hmm. I had uh, after I had complained about uh, the headache and mm -hmm. the, the stomach mm -hmm. ache. So the nurse came and I told, he, I told her, now, uh, Katikati ya wale watu wabao na pea ruhusa siku ya leo, mm -hmm. eh, weka jina yangu mahali pale. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu, mm -hmm. I am not going to stay here anymore. Mm -hmm. Kani ya bia, I, what, what, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Kama bia, I am, uh, I am healed, mm -hmm. I am okay now. Mm -hmm. And by that time, mm -hmm. my head is aching. And my stomach is aching so mm -hmm. much. So, the nurse told me, no, we cannot just visit you like that. Mm -hmm. Because of the way you are, the condition you are, mm -hmm. we are not supposed to visit you. Mm -hmm. So you are not going to discharge him. Mm -hmm. So I told her, mm -hmm. even if you are not going to discharge me, mm -hmm. I have to. Mm -hmm. I have to go. Mm -hmm. So the nurse, uh, because of the way I insisted, mm -hmm. the nurse told me, now let me go and look whether the NHIF mm -hmm. will cover mm -hmm. those days that you have said here. Mm -hmm. So I told him, even if the NHIF uh, card will not cover, mm -hmm. I will pay cash. Mm -hmm. I will pay cash and I, because this is my, I, will not, I am not supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. I want to go home. Mm -hmm. So the nurse told me, okay, we are going to discharge you. Mm -hmm. They have gone. She, she went, they, she, she discovered that mm -hmm. the NHF could pay. Mm -hmm. So they, they were, she went uh, and came back mm -hmm. and gave me that information and told me now, mm -hmm. uh, it's okay, mm -hmm. you can go. Mm -hmm. But remember, the way you are mm -hmm. and the condition that you are in, mm -hmm. ah, you'll come back again. Mm -hmm. So in my heart, because mm -hmm. of the way, the, the way God had spoken to me, mm -hmm. I, I said, I will not mm -hmm. come back here again because of sickness, but I will come here preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. So they discharged me and they gave me the medicine. Mm -hmm. After reaching home, mm -hmm. it is like everything now turned to be worse, worse more than it was. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, uh, I, I, the headache now became very severe mm -hmm. together with the stomach. Mm -hmm. 
so that so that the devil could tell me the way you have been told by the nurse that mm -hmm. is exactly what is going to happen but mm -hmm. i insisted i said that god, god has spoken mm -hmm. god have said mm -hmm. that i'm not mm -hmm. i am not i am not uh, i am not ill mm -hmm. i'm okay mm -hmm. so i told my uh to so, so that to strengthen the the faith that i had mm -hmm. i told my wife mm -hmm. these medicines and this uh Oh, this medicine that they have given me mm -hmm. now take them mm -hmm. and put them to the to the dustbin mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. somebody who is uh, who is not sick mm -hmm. they don't take take mm -hmm. medicine mm -hmm. and then yeah. give me mm -hmm. food because i've stayed for long without eating <laughs> and remember i was not eating so i told her hebu niwekee chakula na usiniwekee chakula kidogo kwa sababu niko na jaa sana that's faith i was eating that food by faith so akanletea chakula mm -hmm. the first spoon mm -hmm. wakati ni scoop hivyo na nikaanza kukura the first spoon mm -hmm. eh nikasikia hapana hii mm -hmm. chakula haiwezi mm -hmm. siwezi kula mm -hmm. so nikainenea chakula mm -hmm. nikaiambia ewe chakula ulitengenezwa mm -hmm. ndio usitoke katika mwili wangu mm -hmm. bali ukae kwa mwili wangu mm -hmm. kwa hivyo na kumaliza mm -hmm. ah nitamaliza hii chakula mm -hmm. i complete mm -hmm. completely eat you mm -hmm. so nika nikakula kijiko ya kwanza nikameza mm -hmm. kijiko ya pili nikameza mm -hmm. kijiko ya Atu ni mm -hmm. To my amazement, mm -hmm. let me tell you, Mr. Eric, mm -hmm. there is power mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. conversion. Mm -hmm. So after I had confessed that, mm -hmm. now I completed the whole prayer, mm -hmm. and I went to bed. Mm -hmm. After moving, uh, then now the morning came. Mm -hmm. came. Mm -hmm. So after the, mo the morning, mm -hmm. the headache had gone. Mm -hmm. Everything now is in, in order. Mm -hmm. That's now how I started mm -hmm. now spreading the gospel mm -hmm. in the hospital wow. up to now. Wow. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. I have personally mm -hmm. last last experience here in you uh, sharing the gospel. I have personally seen you mm -hmm. uh, take up some beer address and go to a town and start calling people to come. To <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> to come and attend the it's called the membership uh, tent uh, meeting, yeah. meeting mm. whereby it's a group of uh, people specifically you target mm. people in alcohol mm. and drug abuse. Yes, to come and uh, hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, and personally myself, I've seen you standing up in the marketplace mm -hmm. and telling them, them to come. Uh -huh. tell, tell us about that. You see. Mm -hmm. When you have the passion, mm -hmm. when you have the, you see the comp, the the the, the passion, the, the passion mm -hmm. used to take to take Jesus mm -hmm. because of the passion mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. for those people. Mm -hmm. You see, it's it's not it's not that we we are also good. Mm -hmm. In fact, mm -hmm. it, it maybe some of us we are even worse more mm -hmm. than those people. Mm -hmm. So I looked at the mercy of God mm -hmm. and the way God loves us mm -hmm. and the way God took us. Mm -hmm. Some are, of, of us mm -hmm. from where we, we, we used to be. Mm -hmm. So that passion mm -hmm. has been carrying me through mm -hmm. to go mm -hmm. and look for those souls, mm -hmm. to go and look those people who are drunk and mm -hmm. in fact the society don't need them. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric, if I can tell you, mm -hmm. when we were starting uh, the tent meeting, the me for uh, meeting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we were starting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was mess. Food mm -hmm. mahari. Kwa sababu wengine they are, they have not they bathe mm -hmm. wengine they are wamelala wakiwa walevi mm -hmm. wengine wamekuja wakiwa in a very bad condition mm -hmm. so because of the passion mm -hmm. i have for those people mm -hmm. now that passion mm -hmm. they have they, they have, it, 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 it have carried me through mm -hmm. and knowing that i was not also good mm -hmm. na kujua ya kwamba mimi sikuwa sikuwa mzuri mm -hmm. ni huruma tu mm -hmm. ni neema tu ya bwana ilinibeba mm -hmm. na nikaweza kuweza kufanya ku, ku, kuona mkono wa bwana mm -hmm. so through that passion mm -hmm. eh, now i uh, na, 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 na kuona ya kwamba hakuna hakuna mtu ambaye alikuwa mzuri mm -hmm. na pia sisi hata labda tulikuwa more worse mm -hmm. than them mm -hmm. so hiyo kitu inanibeba hivi mm -hmm. naona tu ni vizuri tu ni ni, 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 ni waede mm -hmm. the way they are hata mm -hmm. kama mtu ni mrefu hata kama mtu mm -hmm. anakaa namna gani mm -hmm. so that, uh, uh, through that mm -hmm. sasa najipata kwamba inaendelea tu na zaidi na zaidi mm -hmm. na kupenda wale watu wow. and in fact let me tell you mm -hmm. those people are very nice they mm -hmm. are very good uh -huh. if you interact with those people uh -huh. you will know that they are very good <laughs> wow. and the way they change the way now they are changing mm -hmm. so now that one now gives you the 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 mm -hmm. the, 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 the courage mm -hmm. gives you now the the morale mm -hmm. to continue mm -hmm. even to, to 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 preach to them even the following mm -hmm. sunday wow. because of the way uh -huh. the, 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 the they change when uh -huh. you see somebody who who, who have come uh -huh. he was 
was he was drunkenness he, he was so much drunk mm -hmm. he could even abuse you mm -hmm. but now he comes then he received jesus christ as mm -hmm. his personal savior or her personal savior mm -hmm. then you you see the journey mm -hmm. and the way now the things are happening mm -hmm. to his life or her life mm -hmm. then that one now gives you the molar wow. to continue to preach the gospel wow. amen wow. amen mm. amen yes so preaching in a matatu mm. preaching in the hospital mm. preaching in the market yes Nigeria, mm -hmm. where does this boldness mm -hmm. and courage come mm -hmm. from? Mm -hmm. Especially, Raju, saying that kama umesima mahapa na microphone ni kwasoko, na kaya ni kama unajiongelesha. How do you overcome that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes in life, mm -hmm. nakuta kwamba things do don't, don't turn the way they are supposed to turn. Mm -hmm. But before we do in a pro mm -hmm. we, we do in a program before we evangelize before mm -hmm. we go we, we go out mm -hmm. for evangelism mm -hmm. we take our time to pray mm -hmm. then we pray mm -hmm. that the holy spirit mm -hmm. will guide us mm -hmm. the holy spirit will uh, show us the way mm -hmm. will give us the direction mm -hmm. So when you start there mm -hmm. and you call people and you see that they are not coming in mm -hmm. fact some of you are they are, they are abusing you or they are ignoring mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. now God gives you now the 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 the, the, the courage, mm -hmm. the boldness, mm -hmm. and gives you uh, and, and remember. Mm -hmm. That's now the time now you remember. Uh, 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 sometimes not everybody is uh, on your side, mm -hmm. and if you have that kind of mentality that no, to, not everybody mm -hmm. will, will will believe it, your gospel. Mm -hmm. Not everybody will listen to you. Mm -hmm. So. After you have that kind of a mentality, mm -hmm. now that mentality will tell you now, mm -hmm. do, do, do you, it will not make you now to not, not to not, 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 not to continue mm -hmm. calling people, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. now you you, you know mm -hmm. there are some people mm -hmm. who are listening, mm -hmm. there are some people who will not listen to you, mm -hmm. there are some people who will even abuse you, mm -hmm. there are some people who will come. Mm -hmm. So when you have such kind of a mentality and know that not everybody is on your side, mm -hmm. then you don't have any worry. Mm -hmm. You only continue do it, doing it and doing it and doing it. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, you know that this is the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You cannot force people. Mm -hmm. So you know that there is something that the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is doing behind the, 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 the curtain. Mm -hmm. Something is happening in the spiritual realm because mm -hmm. things do happen mm -hmm. fast in the spiritual realm mm -hmm. before they come to the physical realm. So you don't have any worry. Mm -hmm. Even if they don't come, even if you call them and you see there is no anything that is mm -hmm. happening, mm -hmm. remember there are those people who are in the house. They are listening. Mm -hmm. There are other people. They, they can even come and tell you, ah, we were listening to you. Mm -hmm. We could hear you recording us. Mm -hmm. we, could, we, 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 could, we could hear you preaching. Mm -hmm. So you know that even if you don't see them mm -hmm. physically, mm -hmm. in, in the spiritual realm, mm -hmm. there is something that is happening. The Holy Spirit is convincing mm -hmm. them. So after that, they will, they, they will come. Wow. Yes. Yeah, you are going to be talking to us about the stigma <laughs> that uh, public people that preach in public mm -hmm. squares mm -hmm. go through later. Mm -hmm. But just before that, and mm -hmm. this is shameful even to say, mm -hmm. some of the Christians feel ashamed mm -hmm. of preaching the gospel in public spaces. Mutu anasikia ibu, na ile ya watu watasema nini, na mawatu wataniongelelea na mnagani. Would you speak into that and let us know, how do you perceive it from your own perspective? Um, Eric, mm -hmm. what I can tell you is that, mm -hmm. Sometimes, mm -hmm. as I had said there mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. the devil will confuse you. Mm -hmm. The devil will always uh, want you mm -hmm. want, want you to to to, to fall. Mm -hmm. He don't want want you to spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that fear does not come from God. Mm -hmm. It comes from the devil. Mm -hmm. So it's until when mm -hmm. people realize that mm -hmm. this is not godly, mm -hmm. fear is not godly. Mm -hmm. Until when people will know that mm -hmm. God, what God need from them. Mm -hmm. That's when now the people will arise mm -hmm. and start preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. It is true. Mm -hmm. we, we are human. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even me, before I started preaching, mm -hmm. I was so mm -hmm. much fearful. Mm -hmm. I could not even speak. Mm -hmm. I could not even stand. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that helped me mm -hmm. is uh, to realize myself, mm -hmm. it's moving out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And I realized that mm -hmm. uh, after I had moved out of my comfort zone, mm -hmm. that's when now I started mm -hmm. moving out. Remember, mm -hmm. I did not start one day and, mm -hmm. st and start, started preaching. Mm -hmm. I used to even to preach mm -hmm. when I was in G4S. Mm -hmm. I used to preach to people. Mm -hmm. 
a small congregation of people. I started there. Mm -hmm. A small congregation of people. I preached to them. Mm -hmm. I tell them about the love of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And by then, mm -hmm. now, by, by, by that now, I started gaining confidence mm -hmm. in preaching. Mm -hmm. Now I, I I found myself now preaching even to the to a higher group. Mm -hmm. Let alone that's when I, I when I joined the outreach team, mm -hmm. I we went out. Mm -hmm. You see, when you are in the in the in in, in, in the in the church mm -hmm. sitting down, every mm -hmm. Sunday you come and sit down. Mm -hmm. The other Sunday comes, then you sit down. Mm -hmm. You don't even share the gospel during the the the, the day mm -hmm. during the 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 working days. Mm -hmm. You don't spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. You only wait until mm -hmm. Sunday. Ukuja hapa, ubewe neno na wabisho, ama your pastor, uh -huh. then you, you feel yourself, you continue feeding yourself, feeding yourself. Mm -hmm. So, after that, you don't do anything about that. Mm -hmm. So, it's our high time, mm -hmm. it is our high time mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to arise mm -hmm. and start preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. When you hear that people are moving out for, 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 for the mission, mm -hmm. join them, go, move out. Mm -hmm. Because that, that, when you are out, mm -hmm. that's now the time now you realize yourself. Mm -hmm. Some people do not know that they can sing. Mm -hmm. That's now when you realize yourself, when you are out there. Mm -hmm. Because when you are in the church, we have the priest in there. Mm -hmm. We have the choir. Mm -hmm. We have our bishop. We have our pastors. Mm -hmm. We have our deacons. Mm -hmm. So, microphone to take you yes my friend mm -hmm. so <laughs> it is it's now your time when you you see when you, you see people being asked let's go and preach out that's now go, go, God will give you a chance and and through the Holy Spirit maybe our, our pastor we will realize the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the potential uh, that, is, that, that is in you. <laughs> so, you don't just sit down and watch. Uh, because when you sit in the church, mm -hmm. I tell you, mm -hmm. you microphone. <laughs> but ukitoka inje, wakati umetoka inje, now you have all the, the time, the opportunity. Uh, 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 so, God will give you the opportunity. You will realize yourself. Mm -hmm. Some people did not realize that they can even pray. Mm -hmm. Some people did not realize they can even preach. Mm -hmm. I could not realize myself until when mm -hmm. I moved out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. and I went out wow. to preach the gospel. Wow. So that's how I started gaining mm -hmm. uh, confidence. Mm -hmm. That's how I started now overcoming fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even today. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there is no... Uh, there is where, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Kama kuna mahali mimi siwezi uh, preach hata kama president ako pale wow. even in my workplace hata mm -hmm. when my, our bosses are sitting down mm -hmm. uh, sometimes i preach with, to them mm -hmm. yeah because wow. in every uh, in in in, in, uh, in my workplace uh -huh. we, I, I started uh, i started a a, 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 a meeting we, we, we always meet a fellowship, at, uh, a fellowship. Uh -huh. we always meet uh -huh. uh, 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 friday uh -huh. akira mwisho wa mwezi huwa tuna, tuna meet wow. then we pray for our country we pray for ourselves we pray for our work uh -huh. after that and mind you even the bosses comes and sit down wow. there they sit down uh -huh. and listen to the gospel wow. and sometimes they tell me because god will always wow. exhort you uh -huh. when 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 god wants to exhort you god will always exhort uh -huh. you because when you have the truth gospel uh -huh. then god will exhort you so they, ca they they come and tell me your uh -huh. prayers are working we continue praying for the, for, wow. for, for, for us. Mm -hmm. And by that, mm -hmm. wow. so that's how I gained confidence. Mm -hmm. That's how now you overcome the stigma. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you are going to, to be so much embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Start from somewhere. Anza mahali. Kama ni hiyo fellowship mkienda mahali unaguwa muna meet. Enda, anza pale. Usinyamaze kama you have the word. Speak uh, uh, the, uh, that word. Kama ni wibo unasikia unataka wow. kuiba iba. Now you will start from there. Wow. I started from, like, like that, wow. like that. And here I am wow. today. Wow. Yes. Wow. Kubali ni kurudisha nyuma because you have umechipua a very profound thing mm -hmm. that uh, one of the reasons tunakosa could develop mm -hmm. the ministers of the gospel mm -hmm. is during the week we are quiet yes. as Christians mm -hmm. so moto, wa, tuko na moto mm -hmm. na tuko na neno mm -hmm. lakini tunanyama tunanyamaza tuna mm -hmm. na tell us in your initial days mm -hmm. wakati ulikuwa pale G4S mm -hmm. how did you start sharing yeah, the gospel with mm -hmm. your fellow workers mm -hmm. and employees mm -hmm. ulianza na mnaga what would you start with uh, I remember wa, uh, my colleagues used to drink mm -hmm. and uh, I used to talk to them. Mm -hmm. I started talking to them. Mm -hmm. So it happens that uh, as I continued to speak to them, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they went and tell others. Mm -hmm. So every time somebody has a problem, they would always come and tell, 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 tell them, mm -hmm. go 
go go join will pray with you mm-hmm. just the way wow. the way he has, he had uh-huh. been praying with me mm-hmm. and you will see god mm-hmm. so that's how i started mm-hmm. so i i started praying with a few group people mm-hmm. let alone let me tell you mr <laughs> eric uh-huh. uh it because i was working in, in a bank mm-hmm. by that time mm-hmm. And uh, we had chairs mm-hmm. outside there, mm-hmm. outside of the bank. We had we had mm-hmm. chairs for the security mm-hmm. team. Mm-hmm. So after a while, mm-hmm. you know, now they, they started spreading the gospel, mm-hmm. telling other people, "See, mm-hmm. there is a, somebody there mm-hmm. who can pray for you. Mm-hmm. There is somebody there." So even other peoples could come. In fact, they, they reached to a point where by Niliona Sasa, almost everybody is passing through there. In a, this in a bank. And So so I, I was asking myself, ah, yeah, yeah, how am I going to deal with this? Because Sasa, imekuwa Sasa out of control. Not even the security mm-hmm. personnel. Now, even other people, the, 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 the outsiders, they are coming mm-hmm. so that I can pray with them. Mm-hmm. Because every time I pray with them, mm-hmm. something would happen to their life. Wow. Hey, wow. Yes. Wow. Hey. Wow. That mm-hmm. is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your story is very inspirational mm-hmm. and to us this Thank morning. You. Let us talk just before we take a short break. Uh-huh. Take us to a specific memorable experience of you preaching in a, a, a public space, uh-huh. either a Matatu hospital uh-huh. that had great impact, even in your very own life. Wow, 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 wow. Uh-huh. I remember uh-huh. we were preparing to go for a mission in a hospital, mm-hmm. the Buddhist hospital, mm-hmm. and we were praying for that mission. Mm-hmm. And when we were in the powerhouse praying, mm-hmm. I could see literally mm-hmm. some uh, sermon written mm-hmm. on the wall, mm-hmm. which uh, which was not there, mm-hmm. but in the in the spiritual realm I could see it. Mm-hmm. So, and the word of God was uh, was the book of uh, Mark chapter sixteen mm-hmm. verse seventeen, mm-hmm. and those that they will be re- those, those that will believe, mm-hmm. they will be given the power. Mm-hmm. To, they will lay hand to the sick mm-hmm. and they will get healed. Mm-hmm. They will uh, eat deadly poison mm-hmm. and it will not affect them. Mm-hmm. They will cast mm-hmm. out demons. Mm-hmm. So God gave me that word mm-hmm. and I went with it in the hospital, mm-hmm. the Kabuti uh, 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 hospital. Mm-hmm. So I met this man by the name Paul. Mm-hmm. And Paul mm-hmm. was ailing mm-hmm. so much because he had a stomach ache and a headache. Mm-hmm. No, a stomach ache and a headache. Yeah, mm-hmm. and a headache. Mm-hmm. Na, na pia mugongo, mm-hmm. ilikuwa ina muuma sana. Mm-hmm. So, alikuwa na kaa stairo ingine hata wewe, wewe, una, 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 una. Mm-hmm. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. I could detect that this is not disease. Mm-hmm. This is about sin. Mm-hmm. So, I asked Paul, mm-hmm. what's your name? Mm-hmm. Paul said, I, I am Paul. Mm-hmm. What's the problem? Mm-hmm. Then Paul said, I, I have a stomach ache. Mm-hmm. Uh, mugongo inauma, kichwa mm-hmm. inauma. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, sasa mimi, siyelewi ni nini naerekea, kwa sababu nina umu wa zaidi. Mm-hmm. So, I told him, mm-hmm. Paul, do you know that you are not sick? Mm-hmm. And uh, then Paul to ask him, why are you saying that I'm not sick? And nina umu mm-hmm. Then I told him, so it's about sin. Through the Holy Spirit, it's about sin. Mm-hmm. Then Paul looked at me, right on my face, and asked, mm-hmm. do you know me? Mm-hmm. I told him, I don't know you. Mm-hmm. Then Paul told me, and why are you telling me the same information that i was given by my my cousin <laughs> in the morning <laughs> so i told i told him ah the same same message yeah that's the work of the holy spirit mm-hmm. the holy spirit will mm-hmm. give you the same same message mm-hmm. to with the different mm-hmm. to, to by with the different people mm-hmm. so i told him if, if that's the case mm-hmm. now would you like to surrender your life to Jesus Christ? Mm-hmm. Then Paul has told me, yes, I will surrender my life mm-hmm. to Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Because if that is the case, mm-hmm. if it's because I'm here because of mm-hmm. sins, then I don't have any uh, objection. Mm-hmm. I have to. I have to surrender my life to Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. So I prayed. I took Paul in the prayer of confession. Mm-hmm. Uh, then he confessed his sins mm-hmm. before the Lord. Mm-hmm. And after that, I prayed. Mm-hmm. To my amazement, mm-hmm. let me tell you. Mm-hmm. You see, the word that God gave me, mm-hmm. they shall lay hands to the sick mm-hmm. and they shall get healed. Mm-hmm. So, I prayed hard to the to, to Paul mm-hmm. and I prayed. Mm-hmm. After I completed praying, mm-hmm. Paul mm-hmm. stood. Mm-hmm. He jumped mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. and said, Oh mm-hmm. my God, mm-hmm. I am shield. Mm-hmm. I told him, Paul, mm-hmm. I don't have any doubt mm-hmm. because I know the God that I serve wow. have done it for wow. me. So Paul mm-hmm. was jumping all mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. in the hospital, mm-hmm. go moving to the toilet, coming mm-hmm. back. Then he came back and told me, Now mm-hmm. I want to go to the doctor to tell them mm-hmm. to discharge me because I don't have any other reason to mm-hmm. stay here. Mm-hmm. So Paul. Mm-hmm. Akapona na jia hiyo. Wow. So, hakupewa aluhuza. Mm-hmm. So, the four, the, that, that same same day, mm-hmm. that same night, mm-hmm. kukakuja mtu. Mm-hmm. Wacha ni kuwabie Eric. Mm-hmm. 
it's good to evangelize. Mm-hmm. It is good mm-hmm. to tell people about the love of Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. If I did not go, maybe mm-hmm. they would, or, or maybe all or, or the wavi labda pegina wage kufa. But let me tell you, mm-hmm. sasa uye usiku mm-hmm. ukaletu wa mtu, mm-hmm. wakati kuliletu wa mtu katika mm-hmm. hiyo hospitali, mm-hmm. yule mtu alikuwa ni kukufa anakufa, mm-hmm. vya nye Paul aliniambia. Mm-hmm. But Paul akaniambia kwamba, as I was sitting in the, in the, in the bed, mm-hmm. and I saw the way the man is struggling, mm-hmm. then the Holy Spirit came uh, on me. Mm-hmm. Then I stood, I went to the man, and I told him, mm-hmm. listen, through Jesus mm-hmm. Christ that I received today, mm-hmm. may you be healed. You are not going to die, mm-hmm. but you live to see the goodness of our God. And to that, uh, that man, wakati alikuwa narusha migu na nini na nini, akakuwa at a study still. Aka nyamaza na aka keti chini. Akakuwa amepona. Unfortunately, this man did not surrender his life to Jesus Christ. So I went mm-hmm. after Nilieta Jioni Paul akanipatia that testimony paka nikapata sasa nguvu zaidi ya kuhubiri. So nikaenda pale kwa ule mtu nikaenda nikamwambia what's the problem why don't you give yourself to why don't you surrender your life to Jesus Christ? Mm-hmm. Then he told me not today. Mm-hmm. And don't you remember what Jesus have done it for you? What are the, you you were to die mm-hmm. but God have have uh, given you he has shown you his mercy. Mm-hmm. Why have you refused to surrender your life to Jesus Christ? So he told me not today. So I pray when somebody tells you not today, mm-hmm. you don't force. Mm-hmm. Then you, I prayed. Mm-hmm. I called upon the Holy Spirit to convince him mm-hmm. to continue, and I know for sure. Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. I, I don't know. But I am fully convinced mm-hmm. that later on that man surrendered his life wow. to Jesus Christ. Wow. Paul, I th- I know he is doing well mm-hmm. uh, because of evangelizing. Wow. Evangelizing is good. You take the gospel to the people. You show the people the love of God. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Yes. That is amazing. How do you overcome that hesitation? Kunako <laughs> hesitation. Kana kujanga. Sometimes as a Christian, you very, very, you can feel it with every inch of your body and fiber uh-huh. that this is a moment for me to speak the gospel. Uh-huh. But kunako na ka distance. Uh-huh. Hapo between, uh, will you speak or will you uh-huh. ka hesitation? Uh-huh. Hapo, uh-huh. How do you overcome that? Uh, when I find myself in such kind of a situation, mm-hmm. I always go to God. Mm-hmm. I ask for courage mm-hmm. and boldness through prayer. Mm-hmm. I really pray and tell God, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. my heart is weary, mm-hmm. but the body mm-hmm. and the, the spirit mm-hmm. is refusing to do what you, you want me to do. Mm-hmm. So I just pray. Mm-hmm. I pray and pray and pray. Mm-hmm. At that alone, mm-hmm. I feel like, like now God comes and the Holy Spirit comes and it, it, takes, oh, it, it, it takes over. Mm-hmm. Then after that, I find myself preaching because let me tell you, it's not that I, I don't feel, I feel that I feel it. It's all, it always comes. Mm-hmm. It all, even up to day, it always comes. Mm-hmm. But every time it comes, mm-hmm. I will tell God, God, I don't have any power to overcome mm-hmm. this. But by Your Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. I will be able to overcome, and I will be able to do wow. Your will. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the ways that I do. And then after that, I remember. Mm-hmm. I remember that this is not my work. This is this is God's work. Wow. It is God who called me. He knows how to do it. He goes about it. So well, even if when I start and I don't, I, I feel I still feel feel it. I, well, as I continue to preach, mm-hmm. as I continue to spread the gospel, mm-hmm. now it goes. Mm-hmm. It goes. It once goes out of my my, my way, mm-hmm. and then I continue with the gospel and fight it. In fact, when you feel like. You don't feel like this is the time to preach. Mm-hmm. That is now the right time to preach mm-hmm. because that is now the time that God wants you to preach. That is the time now that, that God is at work. Mm-hmm. As you remember, like the, the case of Batimayo. Mm-hmm. Batimayo was being cited by the people, mm-hmm. telling him, shut up. Mm-hmm. But Batimayo realized this is my time. Mm-hmm. This is my time mm-hmm. through the revelation of God. Mm-hmm. So he, he, at his top, uh, top of his voice, mm-hmm. he said, Jesus, mm-hmm. son of David, have mercy on, 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 on me. And later on, God, Jesus had him and he, he was healed. So every time you feel like now, this is the th- I don't feel like preaching. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like uh, praying. I don't feel like now spreading the gospel. Mm-hmm. That is now the right time you spread the gospel. Wow. That hesitation are those people that were telling Batimayo, don't stand up. Unyamaza, Batimayo, and he exceed, waka exceed na kaedelea. So that is the time now you need to do even more. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Hallelujah. Ah, sad, sad. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our dear viewers, your obedience to the call of God to preach the gospel 
may mean life or death for someone outside there who is waiting upon the message of Jesus Christ that you are carrying. How do you tailor make mm -hmm. the message or mm -hmm. how do you change the approach mm -hmm. when you are evangelizing in different places? Mm -hmm. Ama inakuanga inifanana. Ya matatu, ya hospitali, ya soko, hizo message inifanana ama huwa unabadili. It happens that huwa unavari, unabadilika kila wakati kwa sababu sometimes you meet some people who are hopeless other times you, you meet people who need prayers. Other time you, you, you meet people who need uh, encouragement. Mm -hmm. So it, it sometimes varies. Mm -hmm. So uh, especially in the, in the hospital. In the mm -hmm. hospital people need mm -hmm. a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. So you go with the message of hope. Mm -hmm. Telling them that there is hope in the Lord. You are going to make it. You are going to be healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And by that you see that uh, after you give them hope. You, you, they, they, they gain that courage. Now I am healed. Mm -hmm. you, you, you exercise mm -hmm. faith, mm -hmm. and by that you mm -hmm. see people mm -hmm. get getting healed. Mm -hmm. In a matter true, people mm -hmm. need uh, also uh, uh, hope, mm -hmm. encourage them, tell them that it's going to be well. Even if the economy is not doing well, mm -hmm. everything is going to be well. Mm -hmm. Let us have faith in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So wow. the message varies. Mm -hmm. So you don't just go with the same, same message. You don't just go the, with the same tactic. Uh, Sometimes it varies according to the situations and the way the things are. Wow. Yes. Narrowing it down to hospitals, mm -hmm. how do you navigate the sensitivity mm -hmm. of preaching? For example, in a hospital mm -hmm. where uh, people are in distress, mm -hmm. uh, stress levels is equal to mm -hmm. behavior. PI is not uh, in the most normal way. Mm -hmm. How do you overcome that sensitivity? Uh, in the hospital, there are a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you will find people, mm -hmm. some of them, hata wamekosa hata pesa ya kutoka hospital. Mm -hmm. It's that, wamepona, lakini bado, wako hospital. Mm -hmm. So, ukiadaria mafikirio yao, mm -hmm. uh, hawako sawa. They are not good, they are, they are not uh, light. Mm -hmm. So, what you do, mm -hmm. with the small amount that you have, mm -hmm. you encourage them with it. Mm -hmm. you, you share with what you have. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Mm -hmm. uh, that's why uh, we, we always say, mm -hmm. when it comes to evangelizing, mm -hmm. when it comes to preaching the gospel, mm -hmm. we also need to have resources, mm -hmm. because not everybody mm -hmm. has, uh, not everybody is there because of sickness, mm -hmm. not everybody is there mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, because of the, the, he, he, he or she is sick. Mm -hmm. Some of them are there and we have already been discharged, but they are not able to 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 clear the the, the hospital bills. So sometimes you find yourself. Uh, digging deeper mm -hmm. in your pocket mm -hmm. so that you can win them, mm -hmm. so that you can win the, 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 the soul. Mm -hmm. Other times you fight some people, mm -hmm. they are there, mm -hmm. they are airing so much. Mm -hmm. So that's now, the time now, you go and pray with them. Mm -hmm. you, you tell them that God loves them, mm -hmm. God is still at work, mm -hmm. he is going, they are going to move out of the hospital. Mm -hmm. And by that, after you have shared with them uh, the, the, the gospel, with the, word, with the word of God, because you see, the word of God is so powerful. When you tell them about the word of God, mm -hmm. the word of God will go to them, it will change their situations, mm -hmm. they will change the way they were thinking, uh, the, 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 they were thinking mm -hmm. the way they were seeing things now, you take them to another dimension, they see them in another way, in a godly way, mm -hmm. and by that, you see now things now mm -hmm. start working well. So that's how it's some, some, sometimes in hospital we have a lot of a lot of challenges there, mm -hmm. and we, we we always pray God to give us the wisdom mm -hmm. so that we can be able to handle uh, every case in a different way because every person has his own different uh, issues. So you need to pray before. That's why we are we are asked that we pray first before you start any problem before you start evangelizing. Pray first. That the God will direct your food is there. That the God will direct you even to His word, mm -hmm. so that every situation, every person who has his, uh, his, his or her own challenges, you are going to address them in a different in a different manner. Yes, Mr. Eric. Wow. Mm. Has the management of hospitals, mm -hmm. the ones you have interacted with, mm -hmm. are they supportive mm -hmm. of evangelism mm -hmm. in hospitals? Now, very good and a good one. Yeah. Like the hospital, Mahari Kuwa Ninaenda, mm -hmm. they are very much supportive. Mm -hmm. In fact, hata kitu gine, hata ini, ini sana. Mm -hmm. 
uh, one of the the nurses mm -hmm. mahali ababa huwa ninaenda kuhubiri mm -hmm. alijitolea akanunua the the pulpit mm -hmm. wow alinunua the pulpit <laughs> because after we have gone to the wards mm -hmm. we usually meet mm -hmm. with the with the with the, mm -hmm. with the hospital staff mm -hmm. then we preach to them we pray with them mm -hmm. so that, that that shows you that they do support mm. they do support mm. because they know even them they cannot do without god mm. they support the support 100 percent the management support mm. in fact sometimes they will even uh, issue with a with, with a card mm -hmm. so that there is no hindrances mm. you will maneuver everywhere mm. every word nobody will uh, hinder you from getting to the to the world to to to, to breach so they support it 100 percent wow. yes would you say that mm. they are enough uh, evangelist when when I have been for from a hospital from a doctor when a call for more people to arrive. Matthew chapter nine <laughs> verse thirty eight. <laughs> the work of the Lord <laughs> is plain, <laughs> is uh, plain, but the laborers are a few. In fact, we we cannot exhaust the work of the Lord. Uh, we cannot. We are very few, very few. People have refused. We don't have. We have. We are mm -hmm. short of evangelists. Mm -hmm. People don't want to go and preach mm -hmm. the gospel. Mm -hmm. So it's a high chance. Mm -hmm. we, we 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 wake up mm -hmm. and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. We need a lot of uh, people mm -hmm. to preach the gospel, to spread mm -hmm. the gospel. Mm -hmm. In fact, tangu nianze kubiri kwa matatu, mimi si jawai kutana na mubiri yote kwa matatu. Abi mubiri. Labda pekini ama labda pekini huwa na mubiri wakati ni ni meenda. Juu sasa mimi huwa na mubiri wakati ni meenda job. Na, na sasa labda pekini huwa na ubiri mm -hmm. hapo katikati mm -hmm. but since i started preaching mm -hmm. in a matatu mm -hmm. i have never experienced anyone mm -hmm. preaching in the, in the, in the matatu mm -hmm. so wake up mm -hmm. this, this is a, a high call mm -hmm. for evangelists to wake up mm -hmm. for people to wake up mm -hmm. to, ex to to preach the gospel mm -hmm. just like the way the, the book of matthew says mm -hmm. ya kwamba kazi ya mungu ni mingi mm -hmm. lakini wateda kazi ni wachache Kwa hivyo, that's why God is telling us, because I'm a man at the end, he is telling us, we pray for the laborers, because the Bible, there are few. So, even, there are, there are other people who are sitting down, they know, because the Holy Spirit will always convince them that they are evangelists. They know that they have a call, but they, they are still sitting down. You see what God does. Uh, mungu kuokeresha kwa jia. Ya amani tu. Amani tu. The way you can understand. But if you refuse. Because. Hata mimi diyo niwekwa kwa kitada. I was refusing. Mm -hmm. Siwa tinilikuwa ni meabiwa hiyo wakati. God used to tell me. Move. Continue preaching the gospel. Odoka simama ukahubiri jiu. Na mimi tu na kaa. Tu, tu na regea. So God will show you the easiest way. He will talk to you in the, the easiest way that you can hear. If you fail. If you fail to understand, mm -hmm. now he, he comes in the hardest way. So it, this is this is now the time. This is the time now. Stand. Simama. Kupiri jiri. Kabra mungu wakuangali. Akushikue sasa. Kabra mungu wakushika na mna hii. Kwa sababu, the moment atakushika na mna hii, utacharibu kujiodoa kwa mikono yake na ushido na kutoka pa. So mungu eneta kueka muziko. He can make sure that you do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Even mm -hmm. in our church, mm -hmm. there are some people who know. They mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But God is still watching. Mm -hmm. He is still giving them time. Mm -hmm. But if they refuse, because mm -hmm. now he is showing them, he, has, he is talking to them in a, the easiest the soft way, way. The softest way. Mm -hmm. For them to understand. Yeah, if you fail to yeah, understand, eh, utayeko kwa kitada hospitali pale. Na utafinyo dugu yangu, utajaribu kujitoka katika mikono ya buwana, ushidwe. Kwa hivyo, it's a high chance. <laughs> Kapra ufike pale, amuka sasa, ukaliubiri jiri ya buwana. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Mr. Eric. Amen. 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 Mm. Amen. Mm. Let us go to the mm. limitations. Mm. Are there limitations? Mm -hmm. Even government regulations, mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. that you have a, a come across when the preaching in the public spaces. Uh some of the limitations like uh in the matatu not everybody not every conductor will allow you to preach in the matatu mm -hmm. not every dog uh, uh, driver mm -hmm. will allow you to preach mm -hmm. some and uh, they don't even believe what you are speaking you are you are, you are preaching they will hinder you from preaching. like uh there was a, a case mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one of makanga mm -hmm. a conductor mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. uh will you allow me to preach the gospel mm -hmm. Akaniambia usinitafute maneno dhuri yako. 
Eh? Eh, usinitafute maneno. Eh? Later on I came to, to know yeye yeah, ni waile ile inaitagoaje hii ina, hii ina, inaitwa na watu sijui what that day. Uh-huh. Eh, he, uh-huh. he is of that sect. Uh-huh. So nika wakati nilimwambia hivi akaniambia usinitafute maneno. Na lakini nilimwambia ni mimi nilimwambia hata nikishuka nilimwambia nikamwambia you will one day receive Jesus Christ. Hiyo gospel umekataa ni ni ongerere. I call upon the Holy Spirit. I was I nilikuwa nimekasirika sana. <laughs> the Holy Anger. <laughs> <laughs> Nikamwambia hiyo gospel umekataa ni ni ubiri. Uh-huh. That one. Uh-huh. I tell you one day tutakutana na wewe ukiubiri. Sasa kwa mbali tatu hii mbali tatu umekataza. So there are a lot of limitations. Uh-huh. Sometimes unakuta kwamba wanakwambia kwamba hii gari hatufai kusimama kwa gari kwa sababu the management does not allow sometimes the police anakwambia police wako kwa barabara mm-hmm. and that's why i decided to do it mm-hmm. early in the morning mm-hmm. before hivyo sasa hakuna kitu mtu ataniambia kuna police kwa barabara ama nini <laughs> so i just do it early very early in the morning mm-hmm. from 6 mm-hmm. very early in the morning mm-hmm. so those kind of limitations mm-hmm. sasa sina niondoka mm-hmm. so before they start saying the, that mm-hmm. tayari nimesha neno neno na nimeondoka mm-hmm. eh. so there are, there are those limitations mm-hmm. sometimes you find that uh, mm-hmm hata kwa gari wakati unahubiri mm-hmm. people will not uh, kuna wengine sasa hata the, uh, the, the it's like walikuwa wanagojea uanze ndio sasa waanze kuongea wanaanza kupiga story eh, ku, distraction to kupiga two story na story ambayo haina maana so you, you, you see sometimes we have those limitations those kind of challenges and uh, but all in all we do of a car yeah, uh, as a person mm-hmm. maybe quickly tell us how do you not get offended Uh, oh, offense is is always there. Eric, siwezi kukutakanya nikwambie ati hawezi kasirika na ati utakuwa nini. Hapana kuna vitu ambazo utapatana nazo ambazo zitakuwa offend katika maisha yako. But to me, I don't know whether I do it lightly or not. To me, sometimes I always talk to that person who have offended me. And I tell him or uh, or hi you have offended me. Mm-hmm. And uh, I pray, I pray with them. Mm-hmm. And uh, to my amazement sometimes they will tell you, "Ai hata sikujua kama tumekuwa offended." You see, so it is good when you feel like you are offended, mm-hmm. go and look to that that, 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 that person mm-hmm. who have offended you. Mm-hmm. It may be that labda hata pengine hicho kitu alichokuwa nakifanya hakuwa na it was not intentional. Mm-hmm. Si ni kitu ambacho hata labda hata aliondoa kwa akili yake. So I overcome it mm-hmm. by going to the person who have offended me and talking to him or her and telling him or her you have offended me. Right. So one, that's one of the tactics that I use mm-hmm. to to overcome. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu offenses are always there. Right. And people will offend you. Mm-hmm. People will offend you. even here at work people will offend yeah. you. But it is good mm-hmm. not to be offended. Mm-hmm. You just have to uh, be above any offense because offense is not godly that's a tactic that's a, 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 a one of the ways that the devil uses to bring you down uh, to stop you from spreading the gospel uh let alone now i comes to the book of uh, john 16 verse 33 mm-hmm. that in in the world mm-hmm. you shall face a lot of troubles mm-hmm. but cheer up mm-hmm. i have over, overcome so if jesus was of, of added also why are you not going to be offended you are also yeah. going to be offended because jesus was in the same world and he was offended but he has given us one assurance that we cheer up that he of uh, he, he overcame so it's good to overcome when jesus is in you you will overcome wow yes just before now we get into the method of capturing attention kishafika pale na umesimama just because we are there in the regulation for example mtu ako hapo na msikie hiyo mtu ambao umekaa na leo ya kwenda kurudi in public spaces is there a any kind of panic and they need maybe from the government in a kind of regulation for me I always preach I, I, I do preach I, I don't have any permits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any permits. Mm-hmm. But uh kama sasa hiyo wakati nilienda kwa hospital nilienda mm-hmm. nikajiunganisha na mm-hmm. na wale ambao walikuwa wanaendelea. Mm-hmm. So wakati nilijiunganisha na wao mm-hmm. I, 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 I preach mm-hmm. at them. Mm-hmm. 
So when I preach at them, so anything, any, anything that comes or anything arises, so I always, I'm a lakini sijai patana na kitu kama hiyo. I, I would always sasa ni kwa direct kwa wale abao ni lipata. Hata kama ni kwa hospital. Na wabia, yumi na hupitu na hubiri na, 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 na pastor flani. Na hubiri na, 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 na mungini. So every time I stood in a matatu, because sio mimi sio mto sio kuchua ati ni 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 ni, ni I, i work see i i am i am under so i always tell them i work under bishop thomas mude so every time i stand i i stand and i preach so nobody will come and ask you, why why are you preaching in a matat why why are you so they only know, only know hey uh, if it is about bishop mude bishop mude we know him uh, bishop mude is known everywhere so nobody will come and dare ask me why are you preaching because uh, before i speak uh, before i i deliver any message uh, i would always tell them uh, that i i work under bishop uh, thomas mude wow yes Because I'm going to be giving you a chance in the last five minutes mm-hmm. to demonstrate to us how you begin to mm-hmm. tell us about the strategies mm-hmm. and the tactics when you have to be able to capture their attention. Sasa, mm-hmm. just uh, in the case of Matatu, I can be able to do this Matatu. Because I'm going to be able to do this with challenges. So, if you have Matatu, first, I'm going to be able to katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mm-hmm. So wale wanashindwa he huyu mtu naye anasimama asubuhi na mapema hivyo mm-hmm. kutarimia katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni nani? So uh-huh. unasikia wamenyamaza. Uh-huh. So the second thing uh-huh. I tell them uh-huh. I am saved, uh-huh. I am John Mwangi, I am saved. Uh-huh. I love Jesus Christ uh-huh. as my personal savior uh-huh. and I have come here to preach the true gospel. Uh-huh. I have not come here because of money. Uh-huh. So that I can now uh, uh, hold their attention. Uh-huh. So after I, I tell them uh, that I don't I have not come here uh, because of money mm-hmm. then I tell them uh, I work mm-hmm. at the bishop Thomas Mude I preach the gospel mm-hmm. at the bishop Thomas Mude I direct, I direct them to our church mm-hmm. I in, fa- in fact I also even advertise the, uh, our prayer wow. TV uh-huh. So I after I have said after uh-huh. I, I complete saying I have not stood here because of money because what I I I, I came to see mm-hmm that people will not listen to your gospel mm-hmm. why mm-hmm. because there is a lot of manipulation mm-hmm. many preachers that stand mm-hmm. okay i don't say all but i say many mm-hmm. you will find that many are there because of money mm-hmm. are there to manipulate people mm-hmm. to give them the message of hope mm-hmm. to give to encourage them mm-hmm. so that later on mm-hmm. they will ask mm-hmm. the, the 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 commuters mm-hmm. to give them money mm-hmm. So I decided mm-hmm. through the wisdom of God mm-hmm. that I will never ask for any money mm-hmm. and I don't do that. Mm-hmm. So what I always tell them I have mm-hmm. stood here because of the gospel mm-hmm. I have not stood here because mm-hmm. of money. Mm-hmm. So after I have mentioned that mm-hmm. hata kama kuna mtu ambaye hapo anataka kusikiza mm-hmm. unakuta hata wengine walikuwa na kofia wanatoa kofia mm-hmm. wanaketi chini wanasikiliza neno wow. tunahubiri na tunahubiri. Mm-hmm. After that kabla nishuke nao That's why now I call the mm-hmm. outer call mm-hmm. and people do surrender their life to Jesus. Christ. Mm-hmm. Many have surrendered their life to Jesus Christ in the Matatu. Mm-hmm. So that's how I capture the attention mm-hmm. of the people in the Matatu. Wow. Yes. What if uh, the Matatu is still playing some loud music? Mm-hmm. How how do you work on that? Ah, make a in Ghana and you need Ah, kuna mtu kuna siku moja nilienda kwa before I niingia sasa kwa matatu mhm mm-hmm. uh, i always ask for permission kwa sababu unajua oh. unaweza ingia kwa gari mm-hmm. alafu wakati na imeenda na sasa umepoteza wakati wako mm-hmm. unasikia mtu anakuambia pana you are not supposed to preach here so unatoka kwanza mm-hmm. naongea na driver mhm nikishamaliza kuongea na driver mm-hmm. naenda naongea na conductor mm-hmm. and they allow me mm-hmm. so even before ni ni wa wa, wa tuanze mm-hmm. wana huwa huwa wamekuwa wamezima mm-hmm. so wanazima kila kitu oh. na sasa wananipatia hiyo oh. nafasi na ninaweza kunilika if they happen to tell me that i am not supposed to mm-hmm. uh, at st- st- mm-hmm. so afadhali nicherewe job mm-hmm. waiting for the next matatu mm-hmm. as special thanksgiving <laughs> goes to god almighty yes, because of the grace mm-hmm. na venye ametutengeneza mm-hmm. na ametuwezesha kuwa mahali hapa We are so grateful to the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the gift of salvation mm-hmm. of our lives to Nashukuru sana. Special appreciation goes to our Bishop Dr. Thomas Mude and Reverend Felix Mude. Amen. We love you na yes. tunashukuru sana because of this opportunity and your obedience to the Lord in Ibebea.
See you tomorrow Amen. for another fantastic episode here on Uchao, the break show. See you tomorrow. Amen. Thank you.